you've been blessed from an unexpected source. That's the best, that's, that's the best situation. That's how God puts us in check. Yeah. You ever been blessed and you was almost scared to pick it up because you had cut up so bad? Because God's timing seemed a little off to you. It seemed like he waited too long. He let you sweat too much before he came through. Yeah. And that's when those blessings come from sources that you don't expect them. Good morning to everyone here, and on behalf of Pastor Byron L. Broussard and the entire Love Center family, welcome to today's worship celebration. It is our prayer that what we experience today will lift us up and make us strong, and that we will see lives changed by the power of God. Please communicate with us by texting the words pray, love, or donate to 404-594-5717. We are taking this love to the whole world. God bless you and welcome home. Our children are a wonderful blessing and inspiration when they give God the praise in their own way. Sign your child up today in the foyer to be a part of our choir, which is preparing for the holiday season. Rehearsals begin on Saturday, November 2nd. Join us this Tuesday at 7 p.m. for a gathering of salt and light. Watch and listen for more information. This has been Love Center News, keeping you informed. These are the things that we are keeping in prayer this week at the Love Center. Former President Donald Trump rallied in Georgia Tuesday night as early voting kicked off with record turnout. Get everyone you know to get out and vote. We don't want to take a chance. We will win. We will win. Trying to cement a blue wall in Michigan, Vice President Kamala Harris continued efforts to shore up support among black voters. Pledges from Israel and its enemies Hamas and Hezbollah to keep fighting in Gaza and Lebanon dashed hopes of an imminent end to war on Friday prompted by Israel's killing of Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar. Again, legendary radio personality Wanda Smith passed away Saturday. Atlanta radio station V103 announced her death on social media late Saturday night. Sixty years before women had the right to vote, when she became the first African-American woman to graduate from college, Lucy Stanton Day Sessions, Born on October 16, 1831, Cleveland, Ohio. Lucy graduated from college, completing a four-year ladies literary course at Oberlin College in Ohio. Amazing, especially considering the challenges she faced as a woman of color during that era. Yes, the woman who was elected, the first black president of the Ladies' Liberty Society would go on to become an educator herself. She played a significant role in advocating for higher education for black women during the 1850s. She was deeply involved in the abolitionist movement and worked tirelessly, assisting in any way she could to the Underground Railroad. She became one of the first black women to have a fictional story published when she wrote a short story on slavery for her husband, William Howard Day, an abolitionist newspaper publisher. After the Civil War, she traveled to Georgia, Mississippi, Tennessee, and later to Los Angeles, California, always teaching what she had learned in life. She continued her philanthropic work until her death on February 18, 1910. One word sums up her strength, fierce. Lucy Stanton Day Sessions. Just keep running. That's his specialty. The pitch to Bajan Robinson. Already one it's touchdown. Right. Robinson's going to have two today. Touchdown, Falcons. Oh, Cousins fires. Oh, oh. oh, touchdown, Falcons. Drake London. He needs to watch how a true professional oh, intercepted. Clark Phillips will take it inside the five. Don't so forget about South Point, man. It's about us. That's all it's about. And every day we come out, we give our best version of ourselves, and we'll be the very best version that we want to be. 
That's all it takes. If you are willing to die to yourself and you become a seed that is planted in the fertile grounds of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and you submit yourself to the process wherein things fall off of you and other things get put into you I'm talking to you I want you to transform from a church person to a Christian today now we talked about time we talked about talent but what about money You're always talking about what you need. You're always talking about what you'd like to have. You're always talking about your vision. You're always talking about your dream. You're always talking about what you want. You're always fussing about your finances. Well, the Bible says you reap what you sow. So if you are right with reaping what you sow when it comes to time, and if you're all right with reaping what you sow when it comes to your gifts and your talent, why you act so stressed out when we start talking about, when we start talking about, because the scripture didn't change. You reap what you sow. So if you sow, in the area of because it's only practical my, with my income I can only give so much then expect your income to remain just about